may we have it. Each third of this This place is heavily guarded.
Evidence against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon.
Come here, I want to talk to you. You'll get nothing from me. I'm a loyal That Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Harry. You want to see? and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown in the fire. Goodman covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. I'll wear your guts as a... Someone disagrees with Alfred, educating the people of Winchester. Must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. I'm not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross! Fuck off the both of you! Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed! Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Marry on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help. But I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold. Centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque. A miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ. And... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? You may have it. But tell your king it will all be mine soon enough. His jewels, his treasures, his city. His throne. What? No! I... God! Pearly tooth! Here's payment for you, and we will both forget this meeting.
side must be barred.
for me, I'm as loyal as the king's hounds. This area is Are you spying on me? Stop her! She's on to us! Prisoners might know something. Oh, felling trees, chiseling rock from the Help! earth, and for what? Help! To build more prisons for men who steal apples. I am looking for the Reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an apple. He'll see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. I was starving. Reeve Goodwin My baby's was arrested not long death. ago. Would Alfred. you not steal to save Arrested? your child? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester.
thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
Techne. Hegris Twisters. In on Cupidum. Follow me to the casks. Hey, Fatiar in nominis sui gloriam. Sorry, the ale is all wet. I have not left the church in days. The stench offends even God's nose. I have been looking at this scripture for hours. God has given me a sign. If only I can see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven. Give him a sign. Set him on his true... What troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true heart. A God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to seize his prattling. Illuminate me, oh lord, illuminate me. Your meaning is unclear, god of gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. Send me a sign, oh lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd and I am the lamb who follows your lamb.
Nakia. I must throw off the shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his great... So, I've set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pump. Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does. Tempt. Need to get on the other side.
Take this. Very charitable of you. My thanks.
What is that boy doing all the way up there? Hmm? Jump, little flea! Jump, flea! Jump! Stop it, you grubkin! If he falls, God will punish you! Go on, Esselbert! It's yours for the taking! He's so brave, like a young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Oh. He's going to fall! Oh, oh, my days, I can't look! He's so brave, like a young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Oh, saints alive! Did you see that? God sent Esso Burton an angel! Uh, is it over? Did he fall? Oh, God's buttered crumpet! I never but told him I loved him! <gasps> that stranger got it for him! It's me there! Oi! That's cheating! it was that easy you would have done it yourself risked life and limb but great men know the value of a champion what will you do with such a treasure it's for her it's all for her so she'll finally notice me Athelflae what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. When you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Holy cattle! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed! It takes more than that. That's holding hands and grunting, and then sometimes praying. Oh God! Oh God! King Esselbert the First, the flea of Winchester. All hail the Lord of the Saxons! Esselbert the Flea!
skittering away! Then! to get on the other side. Solum modo in paradisum. Max <gasps>
People of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul.
Mr. Sitterhead. There are rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets. I will. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Souls, a part of us that lives on with God after we die. Bishop Aelfus passing. You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you had miracle legs. Miracle legs? They seem pretty normal to me, girl. Looks can be deceiving. Have you heard of the great Phidippides, the mighty hero of old? Ran all the way from Marathon to tell the king they won the battle. Then guess what happened? He only fell down dead. Dead? From running? It was very far. Girls can't fight. It's the rules. But like Phidippides, I'm going to be the fastest messenger who ever lived. So when the Norse defeat the Saxon armies, you'll quickly bear the bad news to your king. Them sissy britches! Fat chance! So do you want a race or not? I've beaten everyone else in the whole world. In that case, let's run. No other Saxon has been able to keep me on my toes like you, little one. I never thought I would be beaten, but you run like the wind. I'm glad I had a real challenge. And I'm glad to have given you one. Do you like interesting places? I've run all over Wessex, found some scary, spooky magic spots. <sighs> Exploring such is what I live for. I'll give you my diary. I call it the many wondrous runnings of the galloping miracle legs. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome. Finish looking around.
Spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done, and try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. I found no charm, lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver, then? For my troubles. It would not have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! May God curse you with boils on your face! Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Stop struggling and give back that apple. Apple? I didn't scrub on nothing. Get your hands off me, Cowbreath. Cowbreath. You there, you little, little cut purse. Rat. Keep your beak out, nosy. No. I'm starving. Someone help me. God's beard. You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly-poly mutton, man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again.
You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right. No harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. You are mine! Showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? What is so important that you would risk his little neck for it? Keep your sticky beak out of our business. Whose business? The quills? Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quills' meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. I should watch out for a mouse trap. <laughs> I didn't get nothing today. King Alfred, but Majesty and he's going to whisk me away wrong. from all this toil. Everyone died and left me alone on the streets. There's never enough food. I'm always starving.
Now, now, Elwyn. You have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms. Where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Elfarth's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house? will see your crime. <laughs> Come, child. Whisper what you've learned. And mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What 
What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Non requiescat in pace. Goodman set to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement. With ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. 
It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone heard Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Threadbare clothes. And they belong to Wemba's friend. Are we friends now? A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Elfo? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aelfeth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping. Oh, perfect, yes. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Aelfeth? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a Witten. I'm sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. Do you not see? I 
him in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! The face is... You not leave me alone. Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside, and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Asser, is it? How's your riding faring? Who are you? An admirer? Can it be true that so soon upon my path God has sent me adulation? <laughs> I have only just begun to walk in Alfred's footsteps. Oh, but please read my scribbles. Enlighten yourself about our great king. Thank you. I'm sure it will be informative. Let us hope Alfred's life becomes more interesting than this. Asser should have stayed a monk. Asser should have stayed a monk. Oh, 
Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfer is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, <laughs> wisdom, enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. <laughs> These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates <laughs> and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God! How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's god is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there.
Aylfer's sister spoke true. I, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aylfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin. Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. in there. Bill! I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Tabas and Feli Soro to Muit Armis Feli Tuviali. Vel Fortibis Aida Mores Necne.
Well met. My prices are competitive. Look here. This...